When Alicia was born, I just knew she had a gift. She was tall, linky, and she started walking at like six months old. She was really one that just loved activities. Basketball, softball, gymnastics, track. I don't know, tennis stood out for me because it was individual. As soon as we started picking up a racket, we were constantly on the tennis court for hours. My dad always told us we can play against each other on the court and leave it on the court, but as soon as we walk out the gates, like, we're best friends. She was trying to keep up with Michaela. Michaela was trying to keep up with her. It really pushed each other. Good shot. Alicia really looked up to Serena and still looks up to Serena. I remember getting a call from Serena, just talking to her on the phone. I don't remember exactly what she said, but they were very positive words. We were in the car with my dad and he just happened to put it on speakerphone. Me and my sister were just in the back seats, just completely speechless. They both were just beaming. Honestly, Serena made a big difference in their lives by calling. They knew they can meet anyone or they can accomplish anything. And she told her, play hard and stay with her goals. So that meant a lot to us. I didn't really play junior events because I was growing. A lot of people thought we just bypassed junior tennis because of like Venus and Serena. That's not it. Somewhere around 13, Alicia had a huge growth spurt. Her feet got extremely big. And I mean, literally, she grew two sizes, I kid you not, in a week. Her knees were giving her problems. So what we done, we just let her get past the growing pains. We done a lot of swimming in hips to joints. My dad didn't want me to get injured. He just wanted to develop me. I mean, pro was always a goal for myself. So he tried to like pace me. We knew that she had the ability to be a great player. And of course, if she would have hurt, we wouldn't have never got a chance to see what we see now. Alicia Parks has had a week to remember on debut in Lyon. She has lit up Court Central and is one win away from a maiden main tour title. When she's on, she's on. She knows it, she feels it. She gave me a call and she's like, I feel like I can win this whole thing. And I said, all right, then go out there and do it. When she won the entire tournament, oh my gosh, I'm surprised my neighbors didn't lose their mind because Michaela, you know, she's, you know, screaming, I'm screaming. It was just unbelievable. But I think the most important thing that I felt after she's winning, when she point up to God and give him the glory, that's what gets me. I know I couldn't have gotten this far by myself without God, so. I always put God first, because if it wasn't for him, I don't think I would have this much success so quick. I'm very proud of my sister. She has worked hard to get to where she is now. Her road was pretty tough. She had to earn her spot. It was never given. I want to thank God and my parents and my friends and family at home for always supporting me. And let's keep pushing. Just to see her from that little girl to where she, she is now, I'm, I, I can't do anything but smile. I always start off with short-term goals, but the long-term goal would definitely be number one and Grand Slams and 